Welcome back to the channel, you guys. As you know, I famously said I would never buy another Gibson, not after all the problems I had with their guitars. But what do you do when a sweet black and gold Les Paul Custom falls into your lap? Well, you buy that sucker. Let's not mess about. Let's open this thing up and gaze upon its beauty. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm a sucker for black and gold. Look at this case, that royal purple. Just gorgeous. So here it is in all its glory, a well-worn but beautiful black and gold Les Paul Custom, that double bound body with that five ply binding that goes around the entire body and the headstock, beautiful block inlays, gorgeous rosewood. There's just one problem. Yep, this isn't a Gibson. Daryl, you tricked us. Why would you do that? Yes, this is not a Gibson. This is an Epiphone Elitist. Now these guitars were made in Japan and are some of the nicest Les Paul guitars ever made. So the Epiphone Elites and Elitists were made in Japan to some pretty incredible standards. They had a separate factory just dedicated to making these guitars, nothing else. Now the Elites ran into some trademark issues and so they were rebranded the Elitist. Now the Elitists earmarked for sale within Japan actually had the Gibson open book headstock, but the Elitists earmarked for sale you know, to other countries got the Tombstone headstock, which I think actually looks really cool. So let's take a closer look at this guitar, find out what makes these Japanese made Les Pauls so desirable, and of course we'll plug it in and do some tones. Now I found this guitar in my local classifieds and I gotta say the elitists and the elites do not come up very often and if you go to like reverb they're getting pretty pricey. So anyway I did a little trading, grab this one for you guys. I do have a further purpose for this guitar which should be a lot of fun but anyway let's take a look at the headstock. As I mentioned this one was made for a sale outside of Japan so you get the tombstone headstock and of course you get the split block or the split diamond inlay and it's nicely iridescent. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera, but really, really beautiful. And of course we have uh, gold plated uh, Grover tuning machines. And I just have to say one thing about like the overall construction. When you look at how the binding on the headstock meets on any of the joints and corners, it's really beautiful. And I think that's, you know, why they had like a separate factory just to make these guitars. They could take their time and make them right. Now on the back of the headstock, we have our Epiphone Elitist badge, very nice, and gold plated Grover tuning machines. Now the rest of the guitars are made just like a traditional Les Paul. So a one piece mahogany neck, no scarf joint, no, you know, three piece neck or anything like that. Just a solid mahogany neck made in the same way as a traditional Les Paul. Now the neck joint on this guitar is simply sublime. You can tell the neck and the body were dried out to the same humidity so that there was no movement. There's no hint of, you know, like that milky, um, you know, glue joint or any sort of cracking or anything around here. It's perfect. And this is much older than some of my other Gibsons that I was having trouble with. So, I mean, it's perfect. You can tell, you know, they really built this guitar right. Now, as for the rest of the guitar, apparently it got American made switches, pickups, uh, hardware. Obviously we've got the Nashville style, you know, tunematic bridge there. So really high end components that you wouldn't see on a regular Epiphone. So there you guys go. Really beautifully, uh, wonderfully made. The binding is just sublime on it. Um, it is very heavy because as I said, this is made to be a traditional Les Paul. Uh, let's throw it on the scale. It's got to be close to 10 pounds. Let's find out what it weighs. Now this one came in at nine and a half pounds, which is actually not too bad, all things considered. There's 10, 11, 12 pound Les Pauls out there. So, I mean, this thing has some really good heft, but probably not enough to break your back. Now, before we plug this thing in, I'm pretty curious as to what the pickups are. Apparently they're USA made. So I'm going to put a fresh set of strings on here, pull the pickups off and find out what they are. Now in the neck, we've got an Epiphone USA 
SR. In the bridge, we've got an Epiphone USA 60 ST. So that's great news. These are the stock pickups. I have no idea what they're going to sound like. Let's find out. <laughs> So there you guys go. I've got my Japanese made Midnight Telly and the Les Paul Custom. I sort of feel like these guys were just meant to be together. A person could play on these two guitars for the rest of their life and pretty much get any tone they want. Absolute beauties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a very Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys in the new year with some new videos. <laughs>